friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today we're going over a commonly asked question and as promised we're diving deeper into basic all the way to advanced riding techniques. Today we'll be discussing basic body position or as I know it as attack position. Attack position is one of those basic techniques that is often overlooked. A lot of riders understand what needs to be happening, but most aren't 100% sure what proper attack position feels like, as well as understanding the benefits of the proper form. This goes from trail riding to extreme enduro, all the way to motocross. The benefits of proper form cover all off-road disciplines. This attack position will specifically help you save energy, decrease arm pump, increase the feel of your machine in high speed, low speed, technical riding, and even jumping. Once you learn how to properly add this form to your riding, the better your riding will get. I have some very helpful tips to help you master this form. Let's talk about the form itself. Attack position is about attacking the terrain in front of you. You're going to hear some of the same tips you've probably heard over and over, but they all bear repeating. We're talking about elbows up, riding on the balls of your feet on the pegs, hinging as well as unlocking your hips, strong straight back, and strong core. First, let's tuck elbows up and riding on the balls of your feet on the pegs. This is one of those tips I have to remind myself to make sure I'm focused on throughout my rides. Your elbows up and ready for anything the terrain throws at you. And riding on the balls of your feet to almost use your ankles as that extra shock absorber. It helps you with the next and almost most important tip of hinging and unlocking your hips. This form is all connected. You can't have one without the other. The most important part of this proper form and body position is a strong back, strong core, and unlocked and hinged hips. This is a part of the form I believe most riders struggle with. They revert back to bad habits when learning. Once one part of the position goes wrong, the rest follows. A rounded back means a weak core, which brings your hips in and your knees forward. We commonly see this from guys when jumping. Usually a rounded back is the first culprit that causes the famous boner air or nose dive. The improper form makes your ability to correct in all situations much less likely. When riding, we want to see a straight back from your hips to your head. Focusing on having a strong core is the base of this technique. A strong core means a straight spine. Just like on your motorcycle, all the weight of the bike is very centered. As a rider, your core is the center and it promotes that proper form. From a strong core comes a straight back and a centered weight over your machine. So how can we learn to practice this position without a teacher there correcting you? A great way first is to film yourself while riding. You can watch your form and make adjustments accordingly. But I've got an extra tip off the bike that's a great way to learn what a straight back and proper form feels like. You can use a piece of PVC pipe or even a straight broomstick. Placing the PVC pipe on the back of your head, in between your shoulder blades, and at the base of your tailbone, you'll then have a perfectly straight back. With a slight bend in your knees, unlock your hips and bend forward without losing the three points of contact you've established with the PVC pipe. Remember to focus on a strong core. This is also proper form for deadlift for any of you guys who may go to the gym. Practicing hinging over in this form will directly transfer to your form on the motorcycle. I know it will help in all aspects of your riding. Elbows up, balls of your feet on the pegs, straight back, strong core, with hips hinged, unlocked, and mobile, ready to attack whatever the trail throws at you. I hope all these tips help and you're enjoying the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content, and until next time, keep shredding.